10,000 spectators watched the Matador take off and veer off course. The trajectory had the Matador, about the size of a fighter jet, hitting downtown Albuquerque. May 1960, Alamogordo, New Mexico. Armed Forces Day at Holloman Air Force Base was the stage to show off the Matador surface-to-surface -surface cruise missile. The Alamogordo Daily News reported 10,000 spectators watched the Matador take off and veer off course. The trajectory had the Matador, about the size of a fighter jet, hitting downtown Albuquerque. According to author and pilot Wayne Matson, an F-106 flying near Mescalero gave chase and northwest of Berlin fired a Falcon air-to-air -air missile. Albuquerque was spared that day. The Matador was designed to carry a nuclear warhead and had a 600-mile range with a top flight of 650 miles per hour. Diving toward a target, however, the missile reached supersonic speed. Accuracy wasn't the best, but the goal was to decimate facilities in and around enemy military bases. The Matador had a long history with Holloman, with launches going back to January 1949. Three years into development, the program was nearly canceled, until, that is, officials realized its value if war erupted in Korea. Production ramped up and the missile would be deployed overseas. The Matador's end came in 1962. Warheads were removed and what remained was sold as scrap. <laughs> 